welcome to this very one here yes I will be doing a, on Twitter how to apply for your exemption I can exemption but before then somebody made a comment on my comment section that says uh, I think it's fortune young he said thanks a lot the video helped me out please do a video on how to apply for exemption and which uh, because of this request I have to go out of my way to see that I bring it down to you people so this is just a pure step-by-step -step guide on how to register apply for your ICANN exemption now just listen follow me as we go on this now first of all you have to get acquainted with this yes I got this from the ICANN website so this is not a comprehensive one it's an abridged one but once you get to the ICANN website you can get the comprehensive one now when you check here very well you see that here is specifically uh, indicating the exemptions now before you apply for exemption you you should know that you are qualified for exemption now on what category of exemption are you qualified for now some uh, ATS WA from year 2001 some BSc accounting obtained from accredited institution in Nigeria some BSc HND accounting obtained from recognized institution in Nigeria. so you choose whichever one that suits you here you should know choose whichever one that suits you here and apply for it now everybody we all know where we fall into when it comes to this now in but for the sake of this video we are going to be using this one 72 800 naira now we are assuming that this person fall under this category bsc hnd accounting obtained from icon accredited institution in nigeria this person graduated from icon accredited institution in nigeria the school in which he or she graduated from has been accredited by icon so that is why they are going to exempt in all subjects in foundation level plus b2 audit and insurance this b2 is for ski level which is audit and assurance that is to say they are going to exempt this very person from what all courses in foundation level and one courses from the skis level that is to say he is going to is eligible to start from skills after skills to professional are you getting me now in that case he this person will be exempted for one course in that skills so at the end of this video you are going to see how it looks like in foundation everything now the cost of this exemption for this person for this specification here obtained from accredited institution in Nigeria is 72,800 Naira excluding bank charges excluding what bank charges so if you are going to the bank to pay you are going to pay 72,800 Naira plus the bank plus the bank what charges so banks differs I can't tell you that this is the amount they charge for bank charges no 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 bank differs with your bank charges so when you go to the bank the uh, the bank will need to tell you how much you're going to pay for the bank charges but the cost of this exemption is 72 800 please take this very serious 
as at this date of this video this is the cost of exemption this list here are the cost of exemption fee that you can pay to the bank before you start processing your application please anything aside this date if you want to pay please go back to your icon website and check the current amount you are to pay check the current amount you are to pay this video this date i believe the date should be on this video please whenever you want to pay for exemption go to the icon website to get the particular amount you are going to pay don't say that i say that this is the amount because things change prices changes so it might go down it might go up i don't know but as at today as at this video this is the amount for bsc hnd accounting obtained for icon accredited institution in nigeria so having know this what you do once your money is ready you move to any bank of your choice and pay this same amount walk into any bank of your choice maybe not counter and say yeah i want to pay for i can exemption you know the amount you are paying they are not the one to tell you the amount because here you know the amount that yes i'm paying for 72 800 now why because my school is being accredited by icon if your school is not accredited by icon you check check there you will see the amount you have to pay if you have obtained other qualification check you will see the amount you have to pay but for the cut for the sake of this video we are using 72 800 naira. so once you go to the bank you meet the bank teller you are going to fill a teller there on the teller write down your icon registration number on the teller write down your icon registration on the teller you are going to use to make the payment once you do that give it to the note counter and they are going to issue you a slip that looks like this yes i believe you must be familiar with this i used it in my last video when we are handling icon registration process yes the same thing the only difference there is that the amount will change now what you need here is what the the slip number and your receipt number once you check here you are going to see this but before then before then sorry before then come down here you see for the next step kindly proceed to www.icononline.ngl.com slash pay direct this thing is going to be on your on the slip they are going to give you just check the top address there that is the address you are going to use to log in open your browser chrome whatever browser you are using log in this address there www.icon.online.com slash ngr.com then you click it then by then you must have uh keep know that you are going to use your, your deposit slip number and your receipt number i'm taking it calmly so that you you get it and also you can register it yourself okay please that is why i'm taking my time to explain this no, now after you must have done this the slip number and the receipt number then you go to the next once you log in this thing on your browser it's going to take you to a page that looks like this yes from here it will take you to a page that looks like remember i told you that you're going to use your deposit slip number and your receipt number that is what you are going to use so all you need to do here now is to put in the slip number here and also what the receipt number and you click your submit button here 
once you hit on the summit it's going to take you to a next stage which i'm going to show you now it's going to it's going to bring you here but mind you once you input these two information here you click submit it's going to generate your pin number and your serial number automatically it's going to do what to generate your pin number and your serial number automatically so our advice you write down the pin number and the serial number down on a sheet of paper before you proceed from this page are you getting me write down the pin number and the serial number on a piece of paper before you proceed from this stage having done that yes i know you must have done that then the next thing is for you to click on on the this blue right up here click or proceed to registration website click it and once you click it it's going to take you to the what next stage which i'm going to show you now yes it's going to bring you to this place yes listing to this part this is a very critical part listing listing very well now in this part remember i ask you to write down your pin i ask you to write down your serial number which we got from here pin and serial number yes you are going to use it here now what you do here you do what put your pin there put your serial number here then your student registration number the number you 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 put the you to write on your teller that is your registration number you put the registration number here then here is your referee what membership number remember and everything you do in icon you need a referee as long as it's registration you need a referee so you look for a referee that will back you up all you need from the referee is just his number his name and phone number his icon membership number his phone number and his name and his district society i'm going to explain that when we get to that so you put the referee membership uh number there then the next thing i haven't done that the next thing you do you come to school once you click and you open the a list of schools who come out you choose the school you graduated from or did i say choose the school you graduated from then here discipline once you click here you will see something like this i earlier explained but let me take you there so that i won't talk much you see something like this yes something like this will, will pop up remember this is our case study here bsc hnd accounting obtained from icon accredited institution in nigeria that is our case study so that is what you are going to put in that discipline let's go back there yes the discipline once you click here you are going to see a breakdown of all the exemptions then you choose our case study is what bsc hnd obtained from icon accredited institution that is what you're going to put it then if your own is not that you choose the one that suits you but that is the exemption you choose the one that did suit you everything will pop up there that you choose then you come down here year of graduation which year did you graduate from your school check your results you will see the year of graduation on your results now listing very well now we have if you check very well we have school one school two and the third one here now listing you you have filled 
the first row. Now it's meaning the second and the third row. Now listen, if you don't have any other qualification that supersede your BSc or HND, don't fill these two. These two are meant for what? Other certificates that can aid you more what? Exemption. So if you don't have those certificates that can aid you more exemption, then you stop at this first row. But if you have, maybe you have your master's, MBA, maybe any other one, then you can include it there. But in this case, this person don't have. You only have BSc, HND, which is equivalent. Okay, so let's work with that. So we are going. To, you are going to fit only the first line. Once you fit the first line, you you click your submit button. Once you click your submit button, two things will happen. One, you see a red pop up. Sorry for that. You see a red pop up here that shows. I can say that you are owing an outstanding of 6,000 naira, as in the applicant is owing an outstanding of 6,000 naira. La, let me explain that 6,000 naira for you. Now, before you, thank God you are watching this video now, before you apply for exemption of any form, please make sure you pay your annual subscription and your development levy before you start your exemption process. Now, the annual subscription is 4,000 Naira and development levy is what? 2,000 Naira. So you have to pay those two first. That is first thing that will, will pop up. Because if you, if you click submit, it will show there that you are owing an outstanding of 6,000 and you cannot proceed from here except you pay that money. That is one. So I would advise you pay first before you start your what? Exemption process. Or otherwise, you will get to this point, then you will stop here and go to the bank and pay using the same method I explained earlier. Um, and pay then you come back and continue the second one is this if your referee is owing i can it will not go they will show you that your referee is owing i can so 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 amount and as such you cannot continue from here even if you have paid that six thousand naira that is outstanding that you are supposed to pay. You've paid it. And your referee is still owing ICANN. You cannot proceed from this, this page. You will be held here. So our advice, if the referee you are using, the referee you are using is owing ICANN, and it shows here that it is he or she is owing ICANN, our advice you look for another referee look for another referee this form is not a a form that expires it doesn't expire you can still use that same pin and serial number generated to continue your work your process is that so look for a referee that is not owing I can so and once you do that you come back you enter your pin enter your serial number enter your i student registration number that is your own personal one the one you wrote on the teller and the one you printed that i did a video on how to check your icon registration number yes you can check that here i can put the link below the video i, can, I think i'll do that then you put the new referee that you know that is not owing i can if that one at times most of them don't know that they are owing like the last experience i had he said the person said ah, 
My referee said that he's not owing Icon. He said that he's not, he has paid everything. But in the Icon portal, it is showing that he is owing Icon. So you, the, the referee might not know. So, but here we we'll tell. So once you get that one, the new referee that is not owing Icon, you put the referee number, then you come back, you fill your school, you fill your discipline, that is BSc HND from accredited institution in Nigeria, then you put your year of graduation. Then having done that, you don't have any other qualification that will grant you more exemption, you click your word, submit. And once you do that, it will go successfully and it, it will take you to the next stage I am going to show you now. Yes, it will bring you to this page. If you look very, you you see the rights of the application for professional exemption. Now here, student range number is going to appear automatically. Surname, first name, middle name, year of graduation, year of qualification, qualification, and your school. All these top one will pop up automatically. Then when when you go under because this 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 very one you when you scroll down when you scroll down you will see this and here these are the things you are you are going to fill here only you are not going to fill much thing here the only thing you are going to fill here is your own email address your own valid email address your own gsm number your own not your referee your own uh then you come here your nyse number check your nyse discharge certificate you're going to see your number there where they wrote nyse not just state code you're going to put it in full you check you see where they wrote nyse that number there, the whole of the number there, everything there, put it, that is your NYC number. Then here, uh -huh. sponsor, sponsors like referred district society. This is the place I wanted to explain to you then. Now, every chartered accountant in Nigeria has a district society in which he or she belongs. I get it in. has a dirty society in which he or she belongs. Now, you ask your referee, which dirty society do you belong? He might tell you, Abuja, Gwawalada, Ikoi, Lagos, Patakot, Enugu, Abani, like that, like that, just state, Kanu, Yobe, Unguru. So, he is going to tell you, okay, this is where I belong. When you click here, list of district societies will pop out. Then you choose the one that concise your referee. Then you come back here. Your referee membership number will pop up here automatically. The name of your referee will pop up here automatically. The only thing you will fill here is your referee GSM number your referee GSM number. If you can remember earlier, I said the only thing you need from your referee is what? His membership number, ICAM membership number, his name, his phone number, and his district society in which he, he, he or she belongs. For this four thing is what you need from your referee now having done that i believe you understand this place yeah you're not feeling you are you, you are only feeling the 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 space provided for you to do mm -hmm. so like i say please pardon me i don't want this thing to give anybody headache when try to feel this 
and doing this video is to enable you do it yourself instead since you have access to your food you have access to internet you have a laptop i don't see reason why you go to cafe to do this so that is why i'm taking my time to explain this so that you understand it and do it yourself now your email remember when you scroll down that is where you you, you are yes somebody might be asking what about all these dot 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 no you are not going to feel anything there here here it says enter month and year of previous exemption obtain separate with comma eg june 2020 if you have previous exemption you can include this i have a friend of mine that registered in 2010 with his bsc so he wrote only two course in skills and decided to go for his masters so when he finished his master he now have uh msc now so he's not saying he now asked that he now seek for an exemption now in his case now he's going to put the first exemption date he got here before he got the uh, his masters and the date of that exemption that is what he's going to put it but in this case you only have your bsc your hn you don't have additional you've not been exempted before then you continue here you are not feeling anything in this body tax pm i think all these things are your exemption for foundation in which they are going to exempt you out yes so when i said earlier when you scroll down you will get this and i'll say here if you see you can attest that it's still the same thing so you put your email json number nyc number your referee district number and your referee gsm number sorry i'm taking too much time but i just want you to understand this now having done that you click what your submit button is there the blue tick there you, you click it and once you click it it's going to take you to the next page i'm going to show you now yeah it's going to bring you here the institute of chartered accountant of nigeria professional exemption form yet to be what completed congratulations you've succeeded in filling this form but there are some things you need to do again now this particular form you are going to print it out you are going to print it out you are going to print it out. they are, they came to, they are together these two forms they are together you're going to print them out but let me explain here now Yes, a professional exemption form yet to be completed awaiting document upload now all the information we display here all the information we display here then here continuation of the form you see something like application process to complete this process remember they said something here professional exemption form yet to be completed awaiting what document upload yeah this part you have this this part you can print this that does not mean you've completed your 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 registration for the exemption no you've not completed it these are the requirements for you to complete it now application process to complete this process number one print this form give it to your referee to certify along with the underlisted item scan the certificate document into what one pdf scan the document into what one pdf file with a maximum size of seven megabytes and upload within 48 hours now listen make sure that your referee is somebody you can have sex within 48 hours of printing this form 
so that he can attest it, so that he can certify it. Anything above 48 hours, I don't know what will happen. But it's always safe that we we'll do things within the confine of time allocated to us. So within 48 hours, get your referee to sign this form alongside with other documents in which I'm going to call out here for you. Please and please, the maximum size of this is 7 megabytes. You can make 5 megabytes, it can be 4 megabytes, it can be 6.5, but please, it can be 7 on the dot, but it shouldn't be 7 point anything above. If it is 7 point anything above, it will not go. It, they will reject it. What did I say? They will reject it. So make it below 7 megabytes. Now, you click here to print it. Once you print it out, now, number one thing you are going to attach with this form is this. Certified photocopy of educational qualification. What are your educational qualifications? If you don't have your first school living certificate, good and fine. Don't, bo don't bother yourself too much about that. Make sure you have your WIEC or your NECO or the combination of the two. If you are using combination of the two, your N ND, if you went to Polytechnic, and your HND, put them together to avoid that thing. You Put this one and you did not put this one what did i say your yec if you don't have first school living certificate that is your primary school stuff don't bother about it but you have your yec neko combined together and hnd or your nd and your think that is that about that then with your what the next one is certified photocopy of at what results sleep or proof of payment for AAT induction or AAT certification we are applicable if this one is applicable to you you get it ready the next one is photocopy of payment tailor and photocopy of your pin voucher now the slip that slip they give to you do you want me to go and show you let me show you this slip i think let me show you this slip sorry let me show you this slip this one you're going to make a photocopy of this one and the photocopy of the teller the one customer copy you make the photocopy also you make the photocopy also keep it then your nysc certificates what did i say i hope you can get all this in and measure they are stated in the form you can check the form you will see them but please and please there must not be more than seven megabytes when uploaded now you're going to scan all this after signing that is when you scan after signing after your referee must have signed and certified that this this one that he has seen it, he knows what to do with all those things. Just give him, he knows what to write there. After the certification, then you scan everything together in one PDF. You scan everything together. Maximum size of seven percent into one PDF file and do what upload now this form and all the other requirement document listed above must be scanned into one single pdf file before uploading now some person might be asking how do i scan all these documents into one pdf yes at this point now there are some copiers that you run just as if you want to photocopy some 
document once you roll it there's a way they program it then it will scan all those things into one pdf file but if you can't do that you can check you can go online you check small pdf or you can there's a way you can overcome that there's a way you can overcome that so that is that about that you can do that or you go to or you seek help on how you can do that with people that have the equipment i think someone earlier said i should say something about that or how to convert those things but um i'll i'll see what i can do about that but meanwhile let's continue with this now choose your file then you click to upload once you upload it yeah it's going to there will be there will be a a place for confirmation then you click it for it to confirm that really you've uploaded it and in that confirmation is going to show you the document you uploaded then after here this day maybe the next day probably the one of the icon official might call you and ask you to re-upload your document so after you must have uploaded this one keep your phone on make sure your phone is on because the following day they might call you and ask you to please re-upload your document so put that at the back of your mind and once they call you to re-upload your document all you need to do is this you go down here follow the process from here follow the process from here www you know how i said it earlier from here to here you put the slip number and the receipt number then it will land you here the pin and the serial number you copy it out then you come here and just put the pin sorry the pin the serial number and your student registration number and your referee number then here you put the school the discipline your discipline and your year of qualification here so there is no need of putting anything here just fill this up part you click submit it will take you to the form what did i say your pin your serial number your student registration number and your referee number you click submit it will take you to this place to bring you to this place where you can re-upload your your what your document no in re-uploading your document that same document you, you uploaded earlier is what you're going to do what re-upload and once you do that you see a form will show up like this that institute of charter the country of, of nigeria completed application form for professional exemption yes for professional exemption you're going you're going to see a form like this yeah no need of printing it out you just upload then if you need it you can print it out for your own personal use because nobody's asking you for this again then after that to re-upload uh -huh. to re-upload to re-upload the same thing like what i said earlier now once you re-upload it the second time you see something like this note this application is subject to verification by icon they are going to verify that is after re-uploading then if they did not call you just bear in mind that your application was successful you never had any issue so 
if they did not call you know that, that this application is subject to what verification by icon then if they call you you upload it you you still land here that this application you uploaded is subject to what verification by icon two three working days after submission click icamporta.org slash professional examination status to confirm meet follow this website here to confirm your what application if your application has been granted yes after this at most just wait for, for give them for this and check you in fact your exemption must have been concluded you know in initially you you are the essence of you applying for this is for you to be exempted from foundation because well, one you are an accounting student and your school has been accredited by by ICANN so they are going to exempt you from the whole of foundation and one course from skills so okay I would like you to do this experiment once you succeeded in the application follow this link check your exam status and see what you will see there the thing you will see there is mm, foundation the course I think four course in foundation will be there for you that's to say that they have not approved it yet if you are still seeing foundation in your status if you are still seeing foundation in your exam status, that means they have not approved it yet. Now, just wait for four days. How many days they say here? Yeah, three days. But I say wait for four days and check back. And you find out that it will, by then they must have approved it. They must have approved it. And what you will see there will be something like this. I hope you can see this no yeah you will see something like once it is approved you see level skills no more foundation if it has not been approved you will see what foundation but now it has been approved you will see student examination status you will see what your name and your race number will appear up there skills financial reporting here a course ought to be here but it was exempted taxation performance management public sector accounting and finance corporate strategic and management ethic examination fee 71700 that is what you will pay to write all these courses here 71700 so when it show like this that show that your application has been approved by ICANN now somebody might be saying hey, are we still going to submit the hard copy to ICANN office this time things has changed things has changed as at the date I saw the circular here you can read it while I, I talk I saw the circular here and I have to walk down to ICANN office to confirm it so I went there and I met one of the representatives there and was and I asked him, are we still coming here to submit for hard copy here? He said no 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 that you are no longer coming here to submit hard copy as long as you have uploaded it. There's no need coming here to submit hard copy again. So we are not submitting any hard copy in any ICANN office across the nation. Okay, we are going digital. So at this, it says online submission of completed professional and assured application form. This is to inform all our esteemed stakeholders that the institute will no longer accept what hard copy or email submission of all its online application for effective August 1st, 2020. 
2022. Henceforth, all application and other required documents are to be uploaded in the section provided on the portal. Students are to scan students are to scan forms and other required documents into a single PDF document and upload to to upload to the provided document link when processing application on the portal. We count on your cooperation to enable us serve you more efficiently and effectively. All inquiries to student affair dot com. So you can see it clearly here that we are no longer submitting hard copy. Once you've uploaded it, that is so you just wait for your approval and you go ahead with it. So once you have this, that means your application has been approved. So if you have any question to ask concerning this, don't fail to ask. Put it on the comment section. I will definitely attend to it. And I believe this video helps you and guide you as you do it yourself.